A successful marketing strategy is incomplete without the use of A-B testing, otherwise known as split testing. Essentially, this is a process where you're experimenting with different variations of something, whether it's an image, a video, the copyright, etc. Your goal is to determine which one is most effective at converting users to your desired goal. Once you determine that winner, you can then double down your efforts on that single strategy and convert and optimize for your end goal. In the example I'll be showing today, our goal is to capture as many email addresses as we can in the bot. So we're going to start by testing between two different variations of copy. One where we're just telling the user to provide us their email, and another where we're telling them to provide their email and they'll receive 10% off their first order if they do that. So we're going to start by creating these two different variations, one in each block. Let's create a group and we'll call it email AB test. And let's create two blocks, one where we will offer no discount, no incentive, and one where we will offer the 10% off. Great. On each of these blocks, let's add the user email plugin. And we'll just tell them on the no discount block, tap below to share your email. We'll save this to an attribute called no email, no discount. And then we will be naming the other option on the other block a different attribute, that's key. So I'm gonna copy this text so I keep it consistent and add to it. We'll add the user email plugin and here I'll say tap below to share your email and get 10% off your first order. Excellent, we'll call this email discount. Perfect, so we have these two different variations set up. We could add a confirmation message at the end as well if we wanted to, but then we need to split our audience between these two different versions. So all the incoming traffic, we don't want it just to go to one block, we wanna split it evenly between the two. So on the welcome message or on whatever block that you wanna to use to split the traffic, you will add a send block plugin and we'll enable the random slider here and split between these two blocks that we've created. So between no discount and between discount. So again, all the users coming into the welcome message at this point will get split between each of these variations that we've created. So then we have a reasonable population size and we can compare apples to apples. Okay, so now let's go in and test this. I'll get one of the two options, tap below to share your email. So I've gotten the no discount variation and I'm not gonna click on that, right? I'm just gonna say, you know, I, that's not a, enough of an incentive for me, so I'm just gonna let it sit. Okay, so then once you've run this test, you've driven enough traffic to your bot to get some sort of informative data, we can measure the success from the people tab. So here we can filter based on either no discount email, and okay, we can see here, there's nobody matching that filter, as opposed to discount email, which, or email discount, my bad, email discount. Okay, and there we go. We have one matching user here. This was from a previous test that I ran. So obviously this is a super small sample size, but you can see that you can easily determine which was more effective. Providing the discount in this case was more effective. We captured one email address versus not providing that discount. We did not capture any leads.